what's up guys so tonight i want to do some uh, 3d printing again i did this trash can for the uh drift track and it comes i did the lid today but it just literally pops right on it's got a little little spot in it there and then uh yeah there you go pretty cool so i was thinking man i should have done a time lapse on this and showed you guys how i go about doing stuff like that so i figure why not do something uh else that i need so i've been looking at doing a coleman cooler just the blue cooler with the white lid and i found one on thingiverse so i'm gonna show you guys how you use thingiverse to find different scale items uh, download them and then put them in a slicer and then take them to the printer so here we go all right so go to the interwebs of course thingiverse it's going to come up with whatever i looked at last probably let's see slow internet all right, so I want to do a cooler, so let's go Coleman cooler and see how many hits we get. I think that's the one right there. They've got a few options in here, and they even got some uh, like bits for the full-size Coleman coolers as well. But obviously, that's not what we're after. We're after a Coleman cooler for the scale thing. So here you go, Rubbermaid and Coleman cooler one-tenth scale uh, by that Ica. It calls Cena something, I don't know. But so anyway, so let's download this. I'll already it'll come up over here. Gives you a chance to tip the designer if you want. And then we'll go here and extract your show and folder. And then we will find it. Let's see, there we go. Extract all. And I have a folder on my desktop called 3D. So go to the desktop. 3D select folder extract. Yep, don't worry about that. All right, so where are we at? Where did they put them at? Coleman. And then we got, but we got three. We got Coleman, we got fixed, and TAPA fixed. So let's see what the TAPA fixed is, because I'm not sure. That's just the lid. All right, so we don't need a lid yet. Um, let's do the, the main part too. So let's see, let's see, Conservadora fixed. Let's zoom into this. Oh, it's Rubbermaid. So yeah, it's not Coleman, sorry. It's Rubbermaid. The mouse is being funny. All right, so Rubbermaid cooler there. There wasn't a Coleman, was there? Oh. That's it. Okay. So you can download the Coleman or the Rubbermaid. Well, let's do Coleman. Should we make it green or blue? Yeah, we'll keep it blue. All right. So let's get the other one here. Close out of that. Close the Rubbermaid. All right. So we're going to work with this. So we got Coleman cooler here. I mean, it's still going to make it blue, though. Um, so we go to edit process to see what kind of settings we got and uh it should be standard for whatever you set your standard settings to be in this cr10 s modified up here because i've changed some stuff nozzle diameter is a 0.4 extrusion multiplier is one a uh, retraction distance i have been noticing a little bit of play with this so i'm going to go 8.0 just because i want a little bit more retraction because it's been stringing a lot lately um Layers, fine, addition, yeah, fine, support. I don't need supports for this, so let's take off supports. Temperature, 60, yep, I think I'll let it be good. Yeah, uh, primary exterior, 215, 210. That's been a little hot as well. I think I'm gonna knock this down. Let's go 210, and then, oops, 210, and 205. Again, I'm just kind of experimenting with this right now, but. All right, so that's for the extruder. Heated bed is 60. And let's add a set point for 55 for the second layer. There we go. Okay, so all that stuff is just different settings you try. And as you start printing on uh, the 3D printers, you'll learn what each one does. And if you want to adjust a little bit, if you see something that doesn't look right uh, at your print, 
you know, you might want to bring it back a little bit. And I noticed on one of my last prints, there's a lot of stringing. Uh, basically, when it moves between parts, there's a little bit, there's like really thin line of filament. That you can barely see it. It's like hair that goes between different things. And that's just because it hasn't stopped printing, basically. There's still a little bit coming out when it moves over. So retraction, uh, the faster your retraction or the more your retraction, it sucks the filament back in before it moves. So I just bumped it up a little bit, and we'll see if that helps. But all right. So now we are prepared to print. So you hit prepare to print, and there you gotta look at what it's gonna look like. And then you can even back it up here. And you can see where it's showing you might have retraction in there. Uh, down to the ground, yeah. All right. Okay, happy with that, it looks all right. And then uh, we're gonna save tool pass to disc, which I haven't put in yet, so. Just put the memory card. Where'd you go? All right, so put the memory card and the USB adapter. Plug the USB in. Bing, bong, bing. And now select USB drive. Conservadora underscore Coleman is what we're saving it as. Toolpass successfully exported. So, let's head to the printer. So again, I know this isn't the best angle, but uh, I don't have a wide enough angle lens for this close. So I'm working on that. I'll get one and it'll look a lot better, I promise. But anyway, so memory card goes in. Turn the printer on. And obviously one thing you'll see is we have gray loaded uh, right now from my last print, from the trash can. So I gotta get the blue out. And uh, we'll go ahead and preheat this to get it hot enough to pull out the, uh, the old filament in there so it's preheating for PLA right now. So we got the blue and you can tell from the last print that I would pull it out the same way. So it'll have a little bit of stretching on the end. We want to get rid of that. So where are we at? 155. It's almost there. One thing I also like to do is run the z-axis up a little bit just so I can feed more through to make sure I get all that gray out. So move axis, one mil at a time, Z, take it up, that's 44, that'd be good enough. Back to the main menu. All right, we're at 180, so we should be able to pull it out now. The way that I do that is just push it in a little bit to get it melting, and then pull it out. All right. Yeah, this filament sensor's drive me crazy I don't know if that's gonna last much longer but anyway so let's reel this back in of course it's all over here all right, back on the spool like I said I'm not a fan of this filament sensor if I'm right here I don't need it so probably take it off for this print because it's a pain all right so, but if you take off this filament sensor, one thing to remember is you have to put the old plug back on it so it doesn't think you ran out filament. Makes sense, right? So there we go, should be happy days. Next up, get the blue loaded. Do there, into the Bowden tube. It's pushing out the gray right now. Still gray coming out. It's starting to get turn blue. And there's blue. So, don't know if you can see it or not. At the end, it's starting to go blue. All right, so now we're ready to print. Print from SD. Conservadora underscore colon. Hit print. But we need to set up time lapse so you guys can see that. So, I'll do that. And then next thing you'll see is time lapse. Cool. So it's the next day. I let this thing print and realized that I had a 32 gig memory card in and it wasn't enough. So it ran out of SD card. So that's why you didn't see the full time lapse. But let's take a look. 
we got let's see if that's in focus here Coleman here it looks a bit rough um, and I had the edges come up a little bit thought I had the bed hot enough but possibly not but round here you can see hopefully that uh, it had some stringing here and if I would have put supports under it it probably would have been alright but I didn't need supports on the other side so I'm not sure what happened back here if it's a model problem or my settings but uh, anyway since I didn't get a complete um, time lapse on this I'm gonna print the lid in white so get this thing preheated I'll pull the blue out put the white in run it through enough to make it white so it's not like blue and white and then we'll do a time lapse on printing the lid for this and see how it comes out so here we go Just finished printing, so let's see how it went. Alright, so that bit at the end must have been let's see how so it looks like for some reason it printed supports under here. I'm pretty sure I didn't have supports clicked but worst case scenario it doesn't work. So let's cut these off. These flush cutters that the, you get with 3D printers they're pretty good for doing stuff like this. Alright now let's see if it'll fit. Better. It's a little bit loose, but it fits. Not too bad of a print, but if you want it to stay on the back of a truck or something, your RC truck, that's not going to clip in, obviously. So you're going to have to glue it, or you're going to make it look like you know, like you're in it or something. You could glue it half open like that and put some fake ice in it, or I don't know, whatever you want to do. That stringing, again, that's a bit annoying. Let's just fix that now. But what you can do with this is that if you have a truck, an RC truck obviously, that has a bed in it, take this rough side, put it up against the window uh, in the back of the bed or the wall and then just leave it, glue it in like that. It still looks good, you can tell it's a cooler, but uh, maybe not completely brilliant up here. So yeah, a lot of, a lot of retraction in here. Maybe I'll like clean it up with a heat gun, I'm not sure. But anyway, so there you go. Coleman cooler off the of Thingiverse. Eh, it looks like a cooler, I guess. Uh, and again, I'm still working on the settings, so I'll take some of the blame. Uh, but yeah, I'd be interested if you've printed this as well. Um, let me know and like to see some video of it or even the pictures of it if you have a Facebook or something. Post them below so we can check out what your Coleman cooler looks like. All right, cool. Well, I'm out of here. I'm going to set up some more stuff and get it printing. And if we don't see you on the track, we'll see you on the trail. Later.